guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are well this will be my first makeup tutorial of 2020 my first video of 2020 the first video back since october i am so sorry uh, i don't know what to say i thought whilst it's a bit shitty outside and it's storm dennis i just thought you know let's just sit down and play with some makeup a bit right you can see my ring light through these glasses glasses you will have never seen me wear these before i have two pairs of these so basically these are blue light glasses these are from Cantura eyewear i have them in pink the ones i'm wearing today and i also have them in clear i'll leave their links down below because they're just really cool i have had less headaches i used to be a person who had headaches 24 7 i'd wake up with them they're awful and also I could never sleep at night and recently wearing these it's really just helped me I'm able to just watch a film it helps me sleep a lot better just then effectively helped my mental health so that is very good I'm very pleased with them so yeah I will leave these in the link below so at the moment if you head over to my Instagram I'm hosting my first ever giveaway and that is with Instagenic presets so basically all you have to do is tag three friends in the post follow me and follow Instagenic presets and you're automatically entered and basically if you are like me and you love a nice clean feed or you want some effects that will brighten up how your pictures look then you definitely want to enter this because you get 29 presets for free and three of you can win it so I don't know why you wouldn't want to enter it I'll leave the links down below and you can go and enter that right now because no doubt this video will be up when I posted the giveaway and I'm so happy to be working with Instagenic presets because I just love effects I love just everything about photography making Instagrams, Instagrams and your pictures look nice and clean and sharp and cool and they are filters that you have never used before so if you're a person that constantly uses visco cam or you use the instagram filters or you just don't use filters at all what are you doing download lightroom enter this competition it's very cool so yeah i'll leave all that link down below let's just get into the video wow so this is what my face looks like without glasses ah. i'm just gonna first of all pop my headpiece on also do you like my scruncher i made this out of some pajamas of mine i find it really cute it's beauty and the beast and it's got mrs pops and chip and lumiere and the rose and the mirror and i made that myself <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use today is my Mario Badascu Rose Water Spray. You're wondering how my skin looks oh, so smooth and clear. I literally just use this every day, morning and night, when I wake up, before I go to bed. I've used this religiously since Christmas and that's how much I've, I'm only at the top of the bar there, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to spray that. I love that. I'm firstly taking my Morphe M158 brush and I'm just going to brush through the hairs. I have quite thick eyebrows at the moment. I mean, they're not that thick, but this is as thick as they go. Like, if they were dyed right now, you'd see how thick they are. So, as you all know, I normally use the ABH Dip Brow. However, I recently found one that is one, just as good, and two, just as cheap. And it is the Morphe Dip Brow, and this is in Java. I got this at Christmas in a whole set, which came with this brush, concealer, um, and also a pencil thingy, which I honestly at the moment cannot find, so I'm very upset about that. Um, and also it came with a brow gel, which I needed because I just need some good stuff for my brow routine. I just do hair-like strokes near enough where the hairs lie, so if they go in there, then that's where they're gonna go. Now you want to take your time with this process because it's not easy so when you do get used to it that's when you can speed it up a bit. And then I just take this stick so this is the highlighter stick and I literally just take that Thank you. 
then I'm just taking an angled brush. Now these brushes that I have don't have numbers on them, so I'm very sorry. But I think they're in like a little, I'll leave them like below. It's easier. So I just pull it down, but lightly brush underneath. Can you see the difference? Like, that's just amazing. I'm just gonna take my brow gel. I love brow gel at the moment and it just makes everything look better. So I'm just going to brush up all the hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow and then I will be right back with you. Yeah. And we're back guys. So as you can see, the eyebrows are done. This is how I like them. Normally you do eyeshadow and then you go onto the skin. But today we're going to be doing it different. So we're going to go onto the skin and then we're going to do the eyes. So I'm first of all going to take the Too Faced Hangover Primer. So I hope everyone had a lovely Valentine's Day. I hope that if you were celebrating it with a loved one, you got spoiled or you spoiled them. Or if you were spending it with your gal pals, I spent mine with my mum and my sister. We watched to all the boys I love before. P.S. I still love you and oh my god let me tell you I cried I cried and I cried and I want my own Peter so if there's a Peter out there Peter Kavinsky please date me. And then we watched Love Island and I cried at that because Shanice and Luke T got together so that was very cute. So now we're going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the colour 250 this is to match my neck because I'm currently tanned at the moment and I'm taking the Real Techniques contour brush now for concealer I use two so they're both the same it's a last imperfection concealer but one is in number one fair and one is in number two cool medium Cool medium is a lot more for when I am tan just because it makes it blend in just a little bit nicer and drag it up. This is going to give the illusion of a more slicker eye when blended. I'm going to take a base brush I think it is and we'll take these and pat it in. Can you see the difference already that it just makes? Like it just brightens it up so much. Then I go in with number one fair and just get the smaller bits. I've already used a bit of the two as well. It's starting to rain outside. I'm going in with my Hoola Quickie Contour Stick from Benefit. I love this. I'm just gonna take the buffing brush from Real Techniques, just. My ear won't pop out. Around the chin, I buff it in like that. And around the head, but on the cheeks, I pat it in. Now we're going in with powder and banana. Taking the Revolution Translucent Powder. Now you've seen me use the banana powder, you've seen me use the really white powder, and uh, let me tell you, they don't look good. I'm just going to take my Morphe E48 brush. I'm now going to take my Revolution Bronzer, this is in number one cool, and I'm taking my E4 brush from Morphe, and I'm just going to pat that. I'm 
I'm taking an E62 brush, a bit of the bronzer. Now time for the fun part. I'm still sticking with my bronzer for now until I need to change up the colour, but I'm taking it on an M441 brush and I'm starting here and just buffing that in there and dragging it through the crease but bringing it upwards here. So just by bringing it up, it just all of a sudden just... Okay, so I'm going to go into the Modern Renaissance palette, take a bit of raw sienna and burnt orange together. Then I'm just going to take an M456 and just take T's from the Naked palette and just put that through the crease. I'm now going to take the Surf Revolution palette in Extra Spice and in it I'm just going to take the colour Dreams up here, put a lot on my finger and I'm just going to swipe it across the lid. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and take the same brush I use for my eyebrows, which is my M158 brush. And I just go in in the naked, ooh, in the naked smoky palette, I take Whiskey, which is here, just on this brush, and this is how I'm going to do my wing. You want to do it up. You already see the difference making I'm not even doing anything. I'm just looking straight. So I'm just gonna use my Maybelline New York and the Falsies push up draw mascara before we put on any false lashes. Okay, so I'm now gonna go in with the Revolution I'm now going to go in with the Revolution Pro 4K Blush Palette. Jess got me this for Christmas and it's just so pretty. Look at that. So I'm going to take that on my Morphe M405 and I'm just going to mix the top two colours because this one's more matte but then you've got like a more shimmery one. I'm going to pop it here. I'm really liking blush at the moment. 2020 is my year of blush, girl. So now I'm going to take an M501 brush and my Fenty Beauty highlighter. This is in Hustler, baby. And I'm just going to get that, pop that on my cheeks. I forget how good this is. Like, I haven't used it in so long, but you honestly just forget how good Fenty highlighter is when you haven't used it in a long time like me. Then I take the smaller M506 brush to do my nose. Okay, so you can just leave it at this, add a lip, and then you're done. But if you're a bit extra like me and you want to apply some eyelashes, then 
go right ahead the eyelashes I am using are from wish now I wish I was lying but honestly when I say that these eyelashes are the best they are the best Okay, now it's time for lips and lips recently have been like my favorite thing to do ever so I have two lip liners here first of all I have the Barry M chocolate lip liner and I have the NYX matte lip liner suede in Sunstorm so I'm gonna do a bit of both I think I'm gonna start with the chocolate one first I'm just gonna take my Sunstorm one I like doing this just because I have one side of my lip is a bit more lopsided than the other, I guess you could say. So now we're going to go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. This is my favourite at the moment. And then when it dries a bit, I just put on a bit of honey um this says it's a matte lipstick but it's so like it doesn't feel matte it's so nice but this is from Morphe from what this is from Morphe So guys, this is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a huge thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you never miss a post and also comment down below and let me know what you think. I really like this. This is kind of like my everyday if I'm like needing to go somewhere or like if I just have just a little bit of time and I just wanna not do something so dramatic or if I'm going out with my friends on a night out and I kind of just have a very vibrant outfit going on and I don't want the eye makeup to take away from that then I kind of just do this um but yeah I'm really pleased with the outcome of this and I can't believe how good my skin looks at the moment I'm very 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 happy because my skin never looks like this let's be honest well my links will be down below also if you want to enter my giveaway then go and click the link in my description or head over to my instagram which is at charlotte thruston and you can enter there all the rules will be on my instagram so go and check that out so you have from today until wednesday the 19th to go and enter my giveaway and yeah all the rules will be linked there and you can go follow me on tiktok instagram twitter follow me on facebook whatever all that jazz and don't forget to subscribe hope you've all enjoyed this video guys it's so good to be back and i will see you all next week